Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Speakwater. In today's video, we're going to be seeing if a team of the 15 best big men can go 82 and 0. So this was actually suggested in a comment. I was scrolling through the comments of my last video and I actually saw this comment. I thought it would be a great idea to actually test out. Uh, it's on screen right now, so you know uh, who actually suggested it. But anyways, how we determined who will be on the team is we pick the top overall big men in NBA 2K19. And in order to be a big man, they had to be over six foot 10. And I picked everybody over an 85 overall. So everybody over an 85 overall and over six foot 10 will be on their team. Uh, there's a few like power forwards that wouldn't make it uh, such as Draymond Green. He will not be on the team just because he is a shorter power forward. He's six foot seven which is actually crazy he's able to guard all the positions that he can but he won't be on the team also that would kind of make the warriors worse and um one of the main objectives is to beat the warriors but anyways going through our team here we actually named them the bulldogs i downloaded a roster so i thought the bulldogs that fits a uh, team of big men so our team consists of anthony davis carl anthony towns we got boogie joel mb Jokic. Marcus Aldridge, Porzingis, Andre Drummond, Rudy Gobert, DeAndre Jordan, Al Horford, Blake Griffin, Kevin Love, Hassan Whiteside, Marcus Gasol, and that is going to be our full team. So the players at the bottom here probably won't get many playing minutes. I'm assuming maybe Kevin Love and down, maybe even Blake Griffin won't play as much, but everybody above that should get some decent minutes, and it's going to be really cool to actually see how these guys do. Porzingis, for some reason, is in the G League, and he's being called up, which is just weird. I don't know why Porzingis would be the guy. Like, he's one of the best on the team, but it's going to be interesting to see how this actually turns out, how they do, because the, a lot of these guys can shoot on the team. A lot of them can guard multiple positions. They're not bad. I'm thinking this 82 and 0 will be possible. If not, I think they're still going to get less than 10 losses. Let's find out though. Leave your comment down below how you think they're going to do. Anyways, let's simulate this season. All right, so we made it to the end of the season with the team of big men. Did a little worse than I actually expected them to do. They went 69 and 13. Oh, we're going to go through the wards real quick. I don't expect any of the big men to actually be on it. Except for possibly like a six man or something. So Westbrook gets MVP. Don Chich, rookie of the year. Tyreek Evans, six man. Uh, so the big man not even on that. Uh, but we do get the coach of the year with Sebastian Graham. 69 and 13. I wonder how much the coach actually impacts how these teams do. Maybe if we had a better coach, they could go 82-0. I'm not exactly sure how much that goes into the team. So let's find out if any of our big men made any of the All-NBA teams. Nurkic on the first team, Vucevic on the second team, and Dwight Howard on the third team. So none of our big men actually making it on these NBA teams right here. So we're just going to advance into the playoffs right here. And the Bulldogs are going to have the first seed in the East. I did put them in the Eastern Conference. Uh, just because, I mean, it's a little easier, you know. They can make it through the playoffs a little better. But let's check out the overalls on all the players right now. So Anthony Davis actually going up in overalls. He's a 96. DeMarcus Cousins went up one. Joel Embiid went up. Uh, I think they went up a few, actually. I believe Anthony Davis went up two overalls. Carl Anthony Towns went up one. These guys both went up two. Porzingis up two. It says he's minus three. So was he at a 93 before? I'm not sure. We got a lot of guys over a 90 now and then some of our guys at the bottom going up a bit as well but uh overall i mean everybody over an 87 on the team there should definitely be a championship team but let's check out the season stats first going over to league leaders i want to see if anybody is on the point on our team right here doesn't look like there's any centers i don't think we're gonna make it maybe for rebounds per game we could be at the top here so let's keep on going down the list. I guess we have too many big men that none of them are on the top of any of these lists. I literally cannot find a single player from our teams on this list. Anthony Davis at the top with 7.5 rebounds per game. That's like the only guy we can find. Let's just check out these teams, not the team stats, the player stats. We'll check out the team stats after. Anthony Davis at the top with 19.5 points per game. 7.5 rebounds, but I bet altogether these have got to be real high. Steals per game, blocks per game. When we look at the team stats, it will be interesting. Anthony Davis, Boogie, and Bede up there. 
Uh, we kind of go down the list. So a lot of guys actually not playing. DeAndre Jordan, Al Horford, Whiteside, Gasol, and Porzingis all not getting any minutes. Porzingis went up a bunch of overalls, but yet he's still not starting on the team or even playing. He's one of the best players on the team. I just don't understand that at all. A seven foot three, 90 overall big man. That is just, I mean, that's going to be one of the best players on the team. I'm so surprised he's not starting. Checking out team stats, though. Of course, uh, the Bulldogs, the best team in the whole season. Okay, can we go back to... Okay, so here we are. We are on this season. So they did get the best record in the whole season. It was Raptors and Warriors underneath them. Points per game. They were at the top for points per game. Uh, points allowed per game. They were actually the second lowest team for points allowed per game point differential it's the highest field goals made is the highest field goals attempted is the highest field goal percentage is the highest in the league three points made uh second lowest in the league attempted it's gonna be third lowest three point percentage is the lowest in the league let's check out these free throws okay so free throws made are at the most what about free throw percentage number five okay that's very interesting rebounds this is where i'm expecting them to be at the very top there we go 58.3 rebounds per game assists is actually pretty decently high i think they're kind of in the middle there steals blocks are at the top as well so all these big man stats are still at the top right here is there a dunking stat on here i wonder uh if there's a dunks i know they do have it in some of the game modes that it actually shows the amount of dunks i do not actually see it though so we're just gonna hop into the playoffs right now see if they can go 16 and 0 in the playoffs always simulate up against the atlanta hawks in the first round this should be a pretty easy w for them and no the atlanta hawks get a game on the team of big men 2-1 now for the big men the simulation is so slow in this game 2-2 the atlanta hawks are actually getting w's here three two for the big man it should be over right here it should be over let's find out and yes the big men move on barely beating the atlanta hawks they let them get two games on them after only losing 13 in the regular season the playoffs are not looking good for the big men let's see what they can do against the brooklyn nets who beat the milwaukee bucks are you kidding me i guess a lot of teams are a little different too without their big men Denver not having it. Uh, the Pistons don't have either of their big men, so they're not even in the playoffs. The Celtics don't have Horford. Uh, the Raptors are not changed at all, so they're still really good. And the Bulldogs, a 4-0-W over the Brooklyn Nets. Hey, I mean, it should be a pretty easy W against them, and it was. It's going to be the Toronto Raptors facing off them in the Eastern Conference Finals. Warriors, OKC in the West. I didn't take anybody from okc i did take boogie from the warriors but the warriors are still a super good team uh so it shouldn't affect it much raptors actually take a lead all tied up now 1-1 2-1 now for the raptors let's see if the bulldogs can get some more w's 3-1 for the raptors this could be game over for them okay so we're in the game five right here all tied up not much time left in the game and they need this W to move on. Carl Anthony Towns inside to take the lead. They're down 3 1. I thought they would at least make the NBA Finals. And the Raptors, a pretty good team to face off against, I guess. So here we go. Let's see if the big man can actually clutch up. Joel Embiid, player of the game, 20 points in this game, 7 for 14 field goal. So Joel Embiid doing really well in this game. And let's see if they can actually defend. The Raptors right here with Kawhi Leonard, of course, out of the team now. Kawhi trying to make it inside. Goes up for it, but he's blocked by... Was that was that Porzingis? I believe that is... Or is that... No, that's Yoke. Oh, it is Porzingis. Okay, I'm tripping out. It's Porzingis. He gets blocked by Kawhi, though. Kawhi playing some good D. Green inside. The Raptors miss. JV with the putback layup. Are you kidding me? with all the big men on the team and they let JV get the rebound and second chance points. That is insane. So the big men need to score right here. If they score here, it should be the game. We got Blake Griffin, Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Davis, Porzingis, and Aldridge all on the court. It's looking like they're gonna run down the clock. They're also in the bonus if they get fouled. 
That would be big. Okay, just go for the, the score right now. You guys aren't that fast. Carl Anthony Towns inside. AT draws the foul. 2.2 seconds left. This could be the game right here. The big men, are they going to get the W? Carl Anthony Towns, first free throw was good. And now the second free throw is good as well. They got the lead. If the Raptors hit a three here, though, it's game. It's over. Okay, I hope the Raptors go for a three here. Either go for the win, or we're moving on to the second game. Kawhi, deep three, and Kawhi Leonard hits the three. No way the big men have been defeated by the Toronto Raptors. Kawhi Leonard is defeated. I'm kind of mad that the big man lost, but I'm also kind of happy because the Raptors are my favorite team. The Raptors winning the East though. I can't believe the big men lost. They didn't even make it to the NBA Finals. I was not expecting that at all. So Kawhi Leonard should get this, this MVP for this series, holding up the trophy right there. And the big men have been defeated. A huge, huge upset by the Raptors. And I guess a team of big men just aren't able to win the NBA Finals. They did so good in the regular season. And they only had one more win than the Raptors, though. Let's find out who wins the NBA Finals. Let's just simulate the rest of the playoffs. It should be Warriors making it on. It is. And the Warriors should take this against the Raptors. The Raptors are up. The Raptors win 4-1 against the Golden State Warriors. 2K19 loves the Raptors. They have them as, like, the best team. Maybe this is what it's going to be like this year. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We do awesome NBA 2K19 videos every single day. So make sure to stay subscribed, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any videos. Anyways, this has been your boy Smeekle, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Never in the same space that we started at. Throw the ball, I run the play like a quarterback. I've been up all night trying to make a stack. Trying to get a black and flip a dream into a solid fact. I hustled hard for it. One day they will notice. Chasing in the day.